Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to go over how to factor two numbers that are being added together. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to first find the greatest common factor of the two add-ins. Then we're going to write the GCF before the parentheses. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to write the sum of each add-ins divided by the GCF. So let's see if we can do that. So let's get started. Let's factor 18 plus 72. I'm going to show you two techniques. The first technique is called the sled. And uh, basically what you do is you write the two numbers like this and you try to come up with something that it's divisible by. And I know that 2 goes into both of these. 2 goes into 18 9 times. And 2 goes into 72 um, 36 times. We'll draw another sled. And then 3 goes into 9 and 36 um, so actually 9 goes into um, 9 and 36, so we have 1 plus 4, okay? And so now we're down to, um, this is a prime number, so we can put an x there. So to find the greatest common factor, we multiply 9 times 2, and that is 18. And remember, the 18 is on the outside of the parentheses, and then we're going to... Um, Inside the parentheses, we're going to write the sum of each added in divided by the GCF. Well, really, it's going to be these two numbers here, but let me show you why, okay? So first, 18, let's move it over here. 18 divided by 18 is 1, so there's the 1. And then 72 divided by 18 goes in 4 times, so there's the 4. So here's what we have. We have 18 parentheses 1 plus 4, okay? Now, I'm going to show you a different technique. If you don't like the sled, you can use a factor tree, and you'll get the same answer. So, let's create a factor tree. 2 times 9, circle the prime. 3 times 3, circle prime. And then 72. 2 times 36, circle the 2. And then for 36, let's try 3 times 12, circle 3 because it's prime, 4 times 3. Wow, well, this one has a lot of factors. Circle the 3, it's prime, then 2 and 2. Okay, I know I went through the factor tree really fast, but basically I created a factor tree for all the prime numbers. Now I create a little chart. And this chart just helps keep everything organized. I'm going to write all the prime numbers in the chart. Okay, and then you're going to follow this simple rule. You've got another three here. Okay, and the rule is this. For the GCF, you must have two in a column. If you don't have two in a column, don't bring it down. So we have two, three, three, and if you multiply these together, two times three is six, six times three is 18. So now we do the very same thing like we did on the first one. We put 18 on the outside of the parentheses. 18 divided by 18 is one. 72 divided by 18 is 4, and we got the same answer. It just so happened the way we did it was we did it with a factor tree. Now let's work on another example. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again. First thing I need to do is find the greatest common factor. Let's try the sled method first. Okay, uh, I know that 2 goes into 24 and 60, so that's 12 plus 30. Okay, and now we have what will go into 12 and 30. Um, let's see, I think, uh, let's just go with two. That's six plus 15. And then for this one, we have three, we'll go into three and 15, and that's two plus um, five. Two is a prime number, so we're down to uh, no more of these. Multiply these together, two times two is four plus 3 is 12, so the GCF equals 12. Okay, now what we can do is, let's draw parentheses. We can just write these two numbers in, but let's make sure 12 goes into, where am I going to write this? Let's write this right over here. 12 goes into 24 two times, okay, and 12 goes into 60, um, 5 times, 5 times 12 is 60. So that's how we get the two numbers inside the parentheses. 
Now let's show you, let's do a factor tree. Okay, and the reason I show you both of these, some people like creating factor trees. I personally do. Other people like the sled method. So at least now you know two different ways to create this. Let's create a factor tree for 24, 2 times 12, circle the 2. Uh, let's go. Next, we have 12 will be 3 goes into 12, 3 times 4, circle 3 because it's prime, and then 2 and 2. We're down to prime numbers. And 60, uh, let's go 230, circle the 2. Uh, we've got, oh, let's see here. We'll just go 215. Sorry, I like to use 2s. And then we have 3 times 5. And we're down to prime numbers. Okay, so now what we need to do is put them in a chart. Okay, I'm going to do this a little bit. Okay to give me a little more room. And let's put all the numbers in a chart. And we have 24 and 60. Remember the rule, you must have two in a column. Okay, we had two, 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 and then a three. And then we go two, two, three, five. Bring down a two here, bring down a two. There's not one here. Bring down a three, don't bring down the five. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So we're down to um, the greatest common factor. Now all we do is as follows. I'm going to move this up. Okay. We divide um, 24 by... So let's put this 12 outside the parentheses. 24 divided by 12 is 2 plus... 60 divided by 12 is 5, and we got the same answer as before. Again, here's where I got the 2. I took 24, because that was the original number, divided by 12 is 2, and then 60 divided by 12 is 5. And that's how I got the 2 and the 5. So there's factoring two numbers that are being added, added together. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.